Get out the pen and paper because we're showing you five things you didn't think you could make in an air fryer. I don't know where you are, but where I am, it's today. That was a little inside joke. We've been discussing the use of the term today in our open. Right. Yes. And uh, apparently that dates it because it might not be today where you are. Is that the thinking? Yes. Might be tomorrow or it could be yesterday or last week where you are and today would be throwing you off. I don't know who came up with this stuff. Most people use an air fryer for what chance? Air frying things. That's a good answer, air frying things. He's 100% correct. It's not very specific though. Faux frying. Faux frying, yes, Max. Uh, reheating, recrisping, fries that were yesterday's fries came out of the fridge. Air fryer brings them back to life very nicely. We're not showing you that. A slice of cold pizza, fine. You want to heat a little uh, uh, frozen dinner thing. Air fryer's your buddy. Don't have to heat up the whole kitchen, the giant the oven, less electricity, not to mention it's way faster. An air fryer is really just a small, compact little convection oven. It heats fast, it cooks fast, it does a great job. So, five things in this order. Bacon, might be your new best friend for cooking bacon. A grilled cheese, corn in the cob. Love it, love it for that, so simple. Pizza, not like a store-bought pizza, real pizza, and a steak. That one will blow your mind. Because I think you're looking at the air fryers going, there's no way anything like a steak comes out decent in that thing. And oh, you would be wrong. But first up, let's load her up with some bacon, push start, and off we go. And here we go. We open the air fryer drawer and now I want to point something out. Here's the rack that our bacon is going to sit on. And below it, you can see that uh, fan shaped, is that what you'd call that? Yes. Fan shaped uh, design. Look, you know, you're making bacon, you might want to put a foil underneath this rack. But that fan shaped design in this particular air fryer, the air comes down from the fan in the top, hits that in circles and comes uh, back up. So that helps the cooking process. So if you've got one of these unnamed air fryers, don't cover that up. And then it goes the bacon, just like this. You can get it fairly close. Not a big deal, it, it shrinks. There's shrinkage involved. Perfect, let's just fling one more in here along that edge so everybody feels wanted, like that. And I like the idea of peppered bacon. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give it a decent amount on each slice. Ground, right? It's much better than not ground. Nice and fresh, it's got that real good peppery bite. Okay, in we go. We turn it on. Uh, the highest temperature that the air fryer goes to is 390 degrees. We want eight-ish, let's go seven minutes, then we'll check it. We push start, you'll be able to hear the fan gear up a bit. There we go, and now we wait. So there's gonna be times when certain things are gonna smoke, like the bacon. So just have your fan on, or do it by an open window. Or if you're doing this at college, because you don't have anything else to cook on, and the, the smoke uh, you know, travels down the hall, and the RA walks down and knocks on the door and goes, what's going on? Just blame it on weed, which pretty much is legal everywhere. I think you could get away with that more than you could get away with this. Geez, Alan, I don't know. It's uh, Buddy just had a hit and blew it out the window. All right, guys, no problem. See you later. Look at that peppery bacon. Okay, so I think it's fairly close for me, but I think most people would want like another minute. I said seven, eight minutes. We'll go to seven and then check it. I think it's going to get another minute or so. We'll give it that. But listen, it's it depends on the power of your oven. I mean, just because you get to 390 doesn't mean it's going to cook the same. So you just have to be aware of this stuff. So let's give it a little... Let's just try one minute here and see how we do. And there we go. This for me is perfecto. Oh yes, this. I like my bacon, what's the word? A little less crispy, a little, is chewy okay? Yes. Yeah. I think that's it. Look how beautiful that is. You tell me that's not gorgeous bacon? That's gorgeous bacon, man. That's gorgeous freaking bacon. Look at that. Oh shit, it's hot. Ow. All right, come on, let's get one bite happening. Oh my God, it was perfect. Oh, I'm not kidding. And the pepper, did it need salt anybody? No. no. A little hesitation on Chansey's side. <laughs> Didn't need salt, it's perfect. Bacon, it's salty. Oh my God, eight minutes. Mm. No Ready? mess. No mess, well, a little bit, but minimal and really self-contained. All right, I clean this and we're away to the races with a grilled cheese. Grilled cheese time, ladies. <laughs> Max and Chance like to be called that every so often. Two cheeses on this very lovely uh, artisan style bread. It's nice. So one is the oh so melty 
classic American. Can't go wrong with this, and if this was all you had, you'd be in great shape. But before our second cheese, how about we take the bacon we've just made yes. and put it in here. This is, there's, seriously. The perfect bacon. It's the perfect bacon. The boys had a bite. Boys, what'd you think? So good. Insane. And the peppers are really nice touch. Monterey Jack melts gorgeously. One of my faves. Just get a lot. Okay, top goes on. And now we're gonna butter it. Pretty standard for a grilled cheese, I would say, right? Using good butter, we're fans of good butter, really are. Okay, butter, 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 here. And then one extra little tiny touch, ah, whether you use the air fryer or not, a little garlic powder on top of the butter is just gonna add more flavor, folks, more flavor. And then I just like to do this, just rub it in a bit. Other side, this side I have to do it in my hand because, well, you can see why, because I don't wanna put that down on the ground. So we'll add the butter like this. And I like nice coverage. I like even coverage when I put butter on. Garlic powder, we do this. All right, here we go. We turn it on. We're at 390, that's fine. We're gonna give it uh, four minutes. We'll just lay it right down in here like this. We'll close it up. We'll push start. Four minutes, then we're gonna flip it. Grilled cheese time. Oh, it doesn't look very exciting, does it? No, it doesn't, but just you wait. So now we wanna get this out. We wanna give it a flip like this to this and then back in oh boy it's coming along okay that was uh four minutes at uh, 390 same thing and we're there bing thank you we open ready i want to see it yes oh snap wait okay hold on this is gonna get really good all right let me take this out hello buddy what that's right Shall I? Shall I? Please. And, oh, dang, what? Somebody tell me this didn't just come out of an air fryer. Oh, crap. That's insane. With our air fryer bacon. All right, pinch me. I think I'm dreaming. And at this point, ladies and gentlemen, this is just tremendously waiting for me to take a bite. I want this bite in the middle. I'm just going to cut it, watch, in half that. Here's my going spot. Right here. Ah. Oh. It's perfect. Of course the bacon, yes. The garlic powder on the outside, tremendous. Air frizzle, come on now. Mm. Next, corn on the cob, one of my favorites. So simple you won't believe it. Quite certain you'd recognize that as two years of corn, right boys? Right. Right, right so here's all we're gonna do. This one's real simple. Little avocado oil, just get the guy a little bit wet or lubed or whatever the hell you would call it. That's it. That stop it. We open up our drawer and they go. Try and keep them separate from each other. They're gonna wanna roll into the middle, aren't you guys? Okay, you're good like that. Close it up. It's hard to get a grip when they're lubed up. It's hard, yes, Max, thank you. All right, okay, stick with our uh, 390 temperature and we wanna go uh, eight minutes now. And we hit start. And for right this minute, that's all we do. All right, so we're at the halfway point. We're now at four minutes. I didn't really need to say half of eight was four, did I? And here's our corn, starting to soften a little bit. So let's turn it over. Ow, ow. And back we go for the remaining four. And here we are, we're at the end. Let's check it. Oh, you can, ah, yeah, holy snow. Holy snow? Holy smokes, hold on, let's get this off. Oh, it's pristine. Close this kid up, turn it off. All right, now, let me show you something. So. At this point, you can put salt and pepper, uh, barbecue seasoning, anything you want. I like some kind of butter component. So very dear friends of ours just started a company and this is, yes, this is pimping for them, even though you can't really buy this online yet because they're brand new. It's called Ma and Jay and they're compound butters. I tasted it today for my first time. This one that I had put in the microwave because I needed to do something with it. This is herb, but it's non-dairy, it's dairy-free. And I'm telling you, I tasted this on bread this morning and you would never have known. And I thought, hey, if I can get a little less dairy in my life, so be it. So I threw it in the microwave because I forgot to take it out of the fridge. And now I'm just gonna paint, oh God, look it. Melts like butter, smells like butter. And I can tell you from experience this morning, it fully tastes like butter. So a couple of these. Oh, yes. Do you mind? I'm, oh, hey, yeah. I'm, I'm working here. 
Donezo. All right, I want to take a bite. But damn, it's hot. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my uh, instant read thermometer to help. By the way, the center core of the corn right now is 137 degrees. Look how beautiful. Look how gorgeous. Let's have a bite. Let's have a goo. Love the smell. Please don't be too hot. Please don't be too hot. Please don't be too hot. We're full hot. Oh, oh. it's too hot. Mmm. Oh, yum. Corn. Perfect cookness. Is that a thing to say? Hold on, I've got corn. Got him! Oh my god, I'm on a freaking roll! Hey, hey! Dude, you got some anger issues. Give me the gun. No. Let me just show people. Bug assault. We got a lot of flies we're dealing with. I think everybody's dealing with that right now. Back to this. Freaking delicious. Air fryer corn, perfect. Air fryer corn with compound butter on it, perfect air. Next, we're making a pizza. Oh yeah. It's pizza time. Uh, this is a one pound, I'd say ball, but it's flattened out now. A uh, ball of pre-made dough, supermarket available. Perfect. It's gonna make way too much, so I don't want all this. I think I want about a third of this, which I think if I, is that the right way to do this? Yeah, right? Yeah, like a Mercedes. There we go. All right, so this we want rolled out or squished out or formed out, or turned into a circle. I don't want it too thick, so I'm gonna try, and I'm so terrible with dough, I really am. I can tell you this, you absolutely need to have this out of the fridge for about an hour, if it's store-bought. So, I've got a little piece of parchment here that I will put some flour on, and then this. Now, we're gonna take this guy on the parchment. Let me move him off, bring the air fryer back, and we go like this. We open her up. We're going to take this little guy, put it right there, and try and level him out. Level up, level up, level up. Okay, you got your little dough right there. Nothing on it. It's on parchment. Everybody's happy. We close up. We'll turn it on. We're going to give this guy uh, 390 degrees, as hot as it gets, for, uh, I'm going to say, four minutes. Then we're going to check him. All right, we need a little sauce. And I was going to use this. This is called... Passata, it's a tomato puree. But then I opened the fridge to see if I had any already open, and I came across Bloody Mary mix. So watch this move. We're improvising, folks, and I think it's gonna work. Some Bloody Mary mix, we don't need a lot because it's a small little pizza, but it's too thin like that. So we're gonna add some sun-dried tomato paste, which will not just add flavor, but will add a little thickness to it, a little garlic powder, a tiny dropper, three, of olive oil, and we mix. And look, instant, which should be amazingly delicious tomato sauce for our pizza. So now here's what we do. Here's out of the air fryer is our little dough guy. Settle down, buddy. Like, oh, geez Louise. Let the air get out. He's beautiful, right? Gorgeous. So we're gonna turn him this way. Now we take a little bit of this sauce. Don't need a ton. I think sometimes pizzas get way over sauced. That's perfect for me. Two other things. One, it's a little ball of fresh mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella. Get out, oops, excuse me for all that liquid. Let's get a few little random slices to go on right here. I don't need 100% coverage. So we'll just put some like this. And on top of that, we'll go some capicolo. And this is a sort of spicy Italian salami. Oh. We use it at the restaurant on our charcuterie boards. Just rip, 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 rip. Now this guy's going back in. Get back. We open up. We take our little friend. We put him in. I might do a couple of little dollops of the sauce still, just because. We close her up. Turn it on, same temperature. But now we really only want like a couple of minutes max. Turn it on. Let's see what we get. And we're there. There you go. Oh, look, that's gorgeous. Okay, let me take this guy out. Hold on, hold on, nobody move. Ah, shit. Let me get rid of the air fryer. Put our friend right here now, off the parchment. And look how cute that is, come on. It's gonna be a nice, beautiful, chewy dough. Little light sauce on there, the capicola. We call it gabagool because it's what they called it in the Sopranos. I love this, right there. This is me. That's got me written all over it. That's hot. 
It's very hot. It's doughy. I love this. Bite time. Pizza. Air fryer. Start to finish. What? Less than 10 minutes? Damn it. By the way, that Bloody Mary tomato paste combo might be my new fave. That's fantastic. But one more left, and it's the big one. Steak. Can you pull off a great steak in an air fryer? We're about to find out. Hey guys, give me a second. Let me tell you about why I love my Raycon everyday earbuds. Look, I'm not a music guy. I don't spend hours listening to music, but what I am listening to are, are murder mysteries, uh, real life ones. Uh, police interrogations and let me tell you when you're in an interrogation room and it's three o'clock in the morning you're not talking loud most of the time and these little guys these little guys make all the difference for me and here's the other things that I love about them I love their size I mean look at look look at this this is what it is this it goes in like this and it's done it's there and one of the best parts of these unlike other ones that I've used I can do this can't do that with the other ones. They come with a bunch of gel tips to fit your, in my case, apparently weirdly sized ears, but I found one of these that works perfectly. They have a 32 hour battery life. I keep taking them out thinking they're not gonna be charged. They're still charged and they start at about half the price, half the price of other premium audio brands. And they come with a four, sorry, 45 day happiness guarantee. You don't like them, you send them back. Get your money back, but I'm telling you this, you're gonna love them. Let me make this easy for you. Click the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com slash STCG to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. That's buyraycon.com slash STCG to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. And when you've got these little guys plugged into yours like I do, those interrogations will be amazing. Or music, of course. I know most of you listen to music. I'm just weird. Thank you, Raycon, for sponsoring this video. There we go. That's a sweet looking little ribeye. It's gonna get two things. It's gonna get a splash of avocado oil. You knew that was coming. And kosher salt and pepper that I keep mixed. And it's a decent size, so you can kind of uh, season decently here, right? Always sides, all the way around. Boom. Let's get it in the air fryer. We open it up, take it, we lay it down gently. I suppose it doesn't have to be gently. I mean, it's dead, technically. Turn it on. It's been a theme today. We're sticking with this 390 degrees, but this time we're going for five minutes. We're gonna flip it, give it another five. We're looking for a nice uh, medium rare, somewhere around 130 degrees, but we're not gonna guess. No, we're gonna use our instant read thermometer because that's what thinking people do. And by the way, just before this, we all ate that uh, pizza and have decided it's insanely delicious. That combination, Capicolo, the fresh mozzarella, but really, that little Bloody Mary sauce. So glad I made it, it's delicious. And we're there, five minutes is up. Check that out. So we're gonna give him a flip, like that. I think you're surprised. I think you're thinking it was gonna look like it came out of the microwave. It's not, but I wanna do this. I wanna just check the temperature of it. So we're currently at 94, 94 degrees, 93. All right, we're on our way up to about 128. Anywhere between there and 130 is fine. We're gonna let it rest a bit. Back we go. Start it up and go. Five more minutes. And uh, 10 minutes of cooking. Feels great. Let's just check here from the side. Look how beautiful this is. Dang it. And it's uh, 140, 139. Okay, 138. Did I go over a little bit? Uh, maybe, but let's do this. Let's take it out, put it on here. Hold on, let me get rid of the air fryer. And all this talk of the compound butter that uh, we used on the corn made us go inside and find the one that I had in the fridge that we'd made some time ago. I'm sure it's still good. And this is chipotle. You can see the pieces of the peppers in there. Dang. So I'm just gonna take some of this and do that. Just let that start to do its melting stuff on there. Let it rest, put a little foil on top, and we'll be right back. All right, honestly, I can't wait. Oh, look. I, I, gotta, I gotta dive in. I really have to. Oh. 
So here's one of the benefits of a compound butter is this. Look at that tremendousness. All right, I'm just gonna cut this guy in half. And we cut. And we stack. And we marvel at what just came out of an air fryer looking picture perfect. Picture freaking perfect. Okay, now bite. I mean, come on, come on. Air fryer, what, who, this, that, right there. Come on, come on, tender, delicious. And yes, the chipotle uh, compound butter on top did not hurt, but the fact remains that the steak itself in the air fryer, five minutes this side, five minutes that side, modicum of seasoning came out Perfect. Look, we love our cast iron pan. We sell our cast iron pan. But the reality is, you can cook that in the air fryer faster than you could get the pan hot, I think. I still want you to buy the pan. Please, shop sdcg.com. You'll be very happy you bought one. But look, let's just recap. Air fryer, not just for rewarming day-old fries anymore. There's all kinds of stuff you can do it. And honestly, I feel like we've just scratched the surface. If you like this, let us know in the comments. We'll come back with more air fryer greatness. Freaking yum, That's all I have to say. Time for garlic press. Well, how about this? I'll tell you who's getting it, and then we'll pick a number. This comes from Hi. My name is Die13. Oh gosh. Hope you mean that in the nicest way possible. He or she writes, I've been three months into a diet and I've lost a total of 20 pounds from being over 250. Way to go. It's a big deal. Your episodes give me something to look forward to because when I hit my target weight of 180, I'm eating every fucking thing you make. No, I'm only kidding. And when I hit my target weight of 180, I'm enjoying this burger and all its carne asada goodness. Well, thank you, hi my name. And here's what we choose from. We'll let Chansey do it. Whoa. Not looking. Chansey, read it out loud. Die 13, you're getting 16 of 20. Oh, it's too bad you didn't get 13. 16 of 20. This will be coming out to you. You know what to do? Reach out to us, info at thecookingguy.com. Tell us that you're who you, whatever, you know what to do. All right.